What's up guys, ZDGami here. Let's go through the 60 Stamina Aokiji Kai Raid with the Dex version of Aokiji Raid. Uh, there is going to be a Shooter only, a Free Spirit only, and a Striker only team. Or Striker only island. This team is going to be with Shooters. We're going to be using this free to play team. If you have Magellan, that's Strength Magellan, you want to use him here instead of the Blackbeard. Make sure you have level 2 Anti-Bind. Very important to have level 2 Anti-Bind. Uh, so that way you can actually attack whenever you're, you end up facing Aokiji. Because Aokiji is going to do the same things that he does before. He's still going to bind every two turns. He's still going to be uh, cutting your health on the first attack. And each one of these fights is going to have a gimmick. So the gimmick for the... Shooter one is that you will be silenced for the first three turns, and after that three turn silence, you're going to be oh, well, even during that three turn silence, you're gonna have two specials that you only can use two specials per turn. It's only two specials per turn that you can use. Uh, with this team, since we're going to be basically just auto attacking for the first three turns, we're just gonna wait out that silence. We can go into the boss when our characters are at a four turn special, the ones we care about. So we're going to be starting off with either Magellan or six star Blackbeard special and Duval specials. And then after that, we're going to be using Heracles and Ace. On the final turn, we're going to be using Margaret and Zephyr. Actually, we can use... Yeah, no, that'll be, that, will, that will be a better choice. I keep trying to second guess myself. We're already at the fight. No time for second guesses now. I say six star Blackbeard. I'm in raid boss Blackbeard. You know what I mean. So stages one through four are going to be the same as before. Stage three, we want to try to have as many matching orbs as we can. Because stage three is going to have those high health guys. And stage four are the guys that are going to bind the characters they're weak against for two turns. Let's see, what kind of matching orbs do we have? Alright, three matching orbs. Looks good. Let's kill let's kill everyone except for that one. Or let's not. Let's leave two of them alive. It's it's not a mistake. It's all according to strategy. Uh, we're going to be using our just auto attacks to get through stage 4. Some teams can use a special to get through stage 4. And like if you use Ace's special, you can use Ace's special to clear out stage 4. Let's see, killing you with Duval. Thank you very much. I want to kill you. And everyone else doesn't really matter. These two will bind the strength and the purple characters for two turns, but anti-bind gets rid of it. And I have stalled for too long. Like I said, you actually only need to stall uh, a little bit with this team. Because by the time you get here, you actually only need these guys at a four turn special. Not already maxed out. So I'm actually stalling too long, just bad habits. So here you want to have your red orb if you can. Auto attack for the first few turns. Remember that Ace has much more damage if you have a matching orb than if you do not have a matching orb. And we don't actually need to get him to 50%. We want to get him to a little bit above 50%. Here we go. Because if we get him too low... That's good. Whenever we use our... Yeah, we won't be using Blackbeard Special, we'll just be using Duval Special here. <laughs> Looks like right above 50% to me. So we're gonna see if we get better orbs. We have better orbs, we don't need to use Heracles in Special, we can just use Ace Special to lock him down. And we can use Ace and Zephyr. By better orbs, I mostly mean an orb on Blackbeard. So we didn't get an orb on Blackbeard here. We're gonna use Heracles and Ace. Move that, move that, move that, ace, 
and now he's below 50%. Once he's below 50%, he will attack the next turn. So if you put him below 50% on a three-turn attack timer, he'll go ahead and try to attack the next turn. He'll put himself on a one-turn attack timer, just like regular raid boss Aokiji. And the final turn, we'll be using our Margaret for our orb boost and our Zephyr for the attack boost. If you don't need to use Heracles in there, use Zephyr on the previous turn, and that way you can Margaret on this turn. Oh yeah, I love hitting greats. There you go, guys. That's the free play version of this team. Uh, there will be other teams after this. I say other teams with an S, even though there's only one other team after this. If you have the rare recruit Rizo, that strength Rizo is very, very nice because he is uh, he can remove silence from your teams. That way you can burst on those first three turns. Versus the striker version of Aokiji, we're going to be using a white beard and a killer striker team. The strength striker that you use, I'm going to be using uh, Hadridin. We don't, you don't need to use them. You can use any other strength striker you got. Whatever strength striker you have works best. And uh, at, you, all, you all are fine, whatever. Remember, once again, having level 2 anti-bind is great. But if you have, this is one, the one where having more than level 2 anti-bind is going to be nice because he will preemptively bind our captain for 3 turns. I mean, for 5 turns, sorry. Which we are going to get on this team binded for 3 turns because I only have level 2 anti-bind. Uh, so we're going to be attacking as hard as we can. We're basically just going to be working off of one captain for a while. Remember that you're not going to have your attack until your white beard gets below, until your team gets to below 30%. So let's take hits on this first guy here. I like stalling this first guy. I know how much damage he's going to do. So it's going to be predictable. Our recovery orbs are not going to work thanks to Killer Captain. So we just have whatever heal per turn we have at the end of each turn. Which I should be able to take two more hits from him. So he does 6,000 something. And that'll be all the stalling we do on this island. Yeah. We'll take one more hit from him. Then we'll take no hits on the next stage. And no hits on anything after that. We're not going to be using Hadridin special. He's just here to look really cool and be our uh, second strength character for our uh, attacks. That's all he's there for, just another strength character to attack with. It's gonna pass, and pass, and this turn kill him, and so you don't die, because dying's a bad idea. Uh, Kanjiro is going to be one of the best manipulators you have on the striker teams. And if you have rare recruit Kanjiro, rare recruit Kanjiro is very, very good because he will also lock your chain. Well, he will greatly reduce your chain. That's Aokiji will. So if you use Kondro or Zeo, both Kondro and Zeo are going to be very nice because they will lock your chain to be a much higher number. Either 2.5 like it would be at max or 275 if you're using the new Kondro. We gotta kill everything here or else we'll die. Cool, 
cool. Not dying is the best. I love not dying. Let's see, we have green, we have red, we have purple, so I want to make sure I kill these three up front. Let those two guys get binded, sure, but there's only level 2 ended binds, that's fine. I'm just gonna look for some matching orbs. The killer matching orb doesn't matter because killer's gonna be binded for a while. Eh, might as well. Okay. Oops, I forgot to uh, change my text to say strikers only and forgot to change that to say stuff. Eh, yeah, strikers only. You guys know what it says. So there, the chain is going to be reduced by 90%. Our cat is gonna get binded for five turns, which will effectively be three turns. We should be using our white beard here. So that way we can get as much damage as we can because we're really not going to be worried about pushing him for too much damage. But I want to save my white beard until we get some worse orbs. It's a little better orbs, I guess. Just, just slightly better. The first attack from Alkadi will always cut your health by half. So we're not worried about this attack. Next attack is just going to be a regular attack. So this is just going to be a regular attack. The next one we're going to be using our Conjuro and Killer Specials and then bursting him down with Alkiji. I don't know why I'm attacking in this order. Get him just above 50%. Then we use Kundro and Aokiji and Killer and Kaku. Kaku is a badly matching orb. That's totally fine. That's perfect. If anyone has a badly matching orb, glad it's you. And we got two turns to burst. And I actually also have my Hadridin special ready. So Hadridin can also be an extra little bit of damage here. Thanks. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Uh, you don't need that special, but it does help. And that is the striker version. Hey, look, I hit a miss. Glad I used that special. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> this one, I feel, is much easier than the shooter version.
And on the final round with Free Spirit, we are going to be using a 5 plus Luffy Law team. Uh, we're going to be using Law because Law Special is going to deal fixed damage, which after... Oh, not that team. Uh, which after the Aokiji revives, we're going to be using Law Special to kill him after a revive. And we're going to be killing him kind of slowly over time with the rest of the team. A uh, thing to note about this new Dex Aokiji is that he will have the exact same number of sockets as before, so he still has three sockets once evolved instead of plus one like the other Kai raids have, which is honestly a little disappointing. Uh, so far, every other raid before this one has increased the number of sockets that a character got by one, going from two sockets to three, but now this time it's only three sockets. I wonder if this is how... Well, I mean, we'll, we'll have to see how they balance these things, if it's just going to be trying to increase sockets by 1 up to 3 or nothing. On this team, Jabra here can be replaced with Kaku, since Kaku is another free spirit orb booster. Just using Jabra because he's a red free spirit orb booster, really, that's all. Uh, Duval is nice for his health cut. And Kinemon, we're going to be using pretty often to reduce our cooldown. Say, so, yeah, I want to keep that orb. Actually, I'm going to take that orb to heal. And we'll use Kinemon next turn. Uh, Kinemon is going to be used to reduce our cooldowns through the fight to make stalling easier. And also to give us matching orbs on the boss stage, as long as you have enough health. Remember that Kinemon special will not give you matching orbs if your health is too low. So keep your health above 70%. Which, with level 5 heal per turn, if you have it, is going to be a lot easier. Apu also is the go-to free spirit type booster. Alright, let's take you down. Thank you very much. Remember, if you're using Law and 5 plus Luffy, hitting all your perfumes is going to make a huge difference to how much damage you're going to do. So, missing perfects like that on the boss stage... It's not exactly ideal. So don't be a scrub. Hit your perfects. Not on the turtle. Thank you. Don't don't hurt my turtle. My turtle's my baby. Still just two hits here. And a one and a two. You're dead. To you for matching orbs. So we have matching orbs for next stage. And all our specials are ready. Six hit combo, four hit combo. Just want to take some time so I can heal up a little bit. Should have kept that orb there. That's good. Stage 3, same as always. One whole damage. Oh, zero damage. I thought I did one damage. Hmm. Okay, I'll take that. And on the final stage, let's see. We have... I have green, I have red, I have no purple. So heal there. Good, good, good. Overstalling, my favorite thing to do. I love overstalling. Can't get used to stalling just enough. And let's look for some red orbs if we can. On the Aokiji. It's a regular Aokiji fight for a while. We're gonna attack him for the first three turns, just normal attacks. And then after we get him, uh, after the first attack, then we'll be using our specials. Remember to use your Kinemon before that attack. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to use Kinemon special to get yourself matching orbs. Because after he gets below, or after he cuts our health, Kinemon special will be useless. Alright. Red orbs on all the wrong characters. Perfect. Just how I like it. And we'll use Kinemon here. 
actually think I will... We'll just attack with a few attacks. The only special we don't want to use is the Law special. Yeah, sure, we'll keep going. That's good. I, if I, I attacked with Kidamon, I think I would have been fine. But I'd rather save those orbs. Alright, let's use Duval and Apu. Well, let's use... Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, and burst now. Duval, Jabra for a two-turn orb boost, Apu for the one-turn type boost. And we might as well throw in Luffy special there for good measure. All right, we got one more attack, one more orb boost there. Will you be doing more damage to my strength characters or not? You are 2 3 1 1. You actually do more damage to my strength characters. Okay. Even without a Mozgon well, even without a matching orb, you should be able to kill him after that. All right. He revives to 53,000 hit points, and then you use Law Special, and Law Special is fixed damage. So as long as he's max level, you'll be able to kill him just fine. You don't need attack cotton candy on that Law. Guys, those are all three difficulties of the Aokiji Kai raid. Remember that the raid will be here for a while, and it's only going to be available for 30 minutes each difficulty. There is going to be a new reward for all the difficulties of the Kai raid, and that is... Uh, now the final reward, instead of giving you two absolute or two almighty books, will give you gold books. So the there is a gold guaranteed striker skill up book here. The striker one gives you three silver striker almighty books, and the free spirit and the it's both free spirit and the first one, which is shooter will both give you a guaranteed skill up book. So, guaranteed skill up books on the final if you do them 30 times. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.